In this lecture, we'll discuss Shodan. In 2020, there are more than 20 billion IoT devices connected to the Internet, and you as a security expert cannot ignore them. We all know that Google is a search engine that finds only websites, and it only scratches the surface of what can be found on the Internet. There are tens of billions of other devices and services that cannot be found on Google. Shodan, on the other hand, is a search engine specially designed to find Internet of Things devices. It scours the invisible parts of the Internet that most people won't ever see. On Shodan, we'll find connected devices like IP or security cameras, traffic lights, video projectors, routers, home heating systems, or even SCADA systems that for instance control nuclear power plants and electrical grids. Shodan is the world's first search engine for internet-connected devices. Some have described Shodan as a search engine for hackers and have even called it the world's most dangerous search engine. While Shodan can potentially be used by black hat hackers, it can also be used for good purposes like to help protect critical infrastructure, energy utilities included. In this course, we'll take a look at Shodan from an ethical hacker's perspective. Before continuing, I want to tell you something really important. Never connect to a device if you don't have permission, not even if it uses a default password or if the password is written in clear text. This is the line where you will mostly likely break the law. Before diving deeper into Shodan, I want to show you a few very interesting things that can be found on Shodan. If you want to follow my examples, you have to create a free account on Shodan.io. And to create a free account, you click on create a free account. Although you can use it without logging in, Shodan restricts some of its capabilities like using filters to only logged in users. However, you only need an email address and two minutes of your time to create a free account. Note that there is also a paid account if you want to get full access to Shodan. Though for most of the searches, a free account is enough. So on Shodan.io, I'm searching for Axis 212. PTZ Network Camera. And Shodan found 85 such network cameras. On the left side, we see a map that indicates where the found devices are located, top countries, and top services. If I click on an IP address, I'll find more information about the device that's running on that IP address. We can see a map with the device location, the city, the country, when was the device last discovered, the open ports, in this case there are five open ports, and the banners each service sent in response. And if I want to access port 80 and click on this button, I will connect to device on port 80. My advice is not to use your real static IP address when connecting to such a device. Use Tor or a VPN. And I'm presented with this login screen. Of course, I won't go further and I strongly recommend you to do the same. However, many of these services and sites use default passwords. There are lots of resources on the internet that list default username and passwords for different vendors. As long as many consumers and system administrators are careless and don't change the default password, hackers can easily gain access to these devices simply by using these lists to find the default admin username and password. You, as the owner of a device connected to the internet, have the responsibility to change the default password to a strong one and use the latest version of firmware. Let's try other awesome Shodan queries. One of my favorites is Webcam XP. 
it will search for network camera software designed for older Windows systems. And Shodan found 506 such cameras all over the world. Let's try this one. Wow, it required no password and there is a little bird in a nest. You can watch that bird if you like. And this one, this requires a username and password. And this one, and it seems to be a surveillance camera. Somewhere in the Czech Republic. It didn't require any password. Shodan will not only find webcams, but any other IoT devices. Let's find some automatic license plate readers. And I'm searching for P372 ANPR enabled. These are automatic license plate readers in the United States. In order to be able to perform such a search, you should know in advance what banners a device sends back when someone connects to a specific port. We'll see in a short while how Shodan works. Now, let's find prison payphones. Or devices already logged in as root via Telnet. I'm taking this IP address and try to connect to it using Telnet. cmd.exe, Telnet, the IP address, and port 23, the default Telnet port. If I'm hitting enter, I'll be connected to the device as root using Telnet. I want to find medical X-ray machines that uses the DCOM standard for medical images and related information. DCOM server response and port colon 104. Very interesting. I'm sure you realize that these 1316 machines shouldn't be on the internet at all. Maybe you wonder how did I know to search for this string? There are a lot of forums and websites that list awesome Shodan queries. Just try a Google search. 